My name is Yoav Appelboim, and I'm a social worker and the executive director of Ava Village for Children and Youth. Ava, which means love, began as an orphanage in 1922 in Germany. Between 1935 and 1939, over 300 orphan Jews were brought from Germany to then Palestine, to the location that we are at today. The spirit of Ahava is with us, and we take care of children in need. We have to take children out of very difficult home situations who live in unbearable conditions based on a court order. These children suffer from multiple levels of abuse, including starvation and sexual, physical, and emotional abuse and neglect, and from there, we have to save them. Our mission is to heal the children, and when they leave Ahava, they can function as normal human beings. We have a number of special projects to help the child heal. The first and most basic project here is living in a family unit, putting the child with a model family with help and support to raise the child in a normal and functional family environment. The second project is school. With our help, the kids close the educational gap they experienced previously as a result of their home situations. After completing elementary and junior high school at Ava, they all go to high school in the city. The next project is our day boarding, where the child is with us all day long, but goes home to his or her family at night. My name is uh, General Uyasugi, uh, living in the next door to Ava. I have been serving in the IDF, Israeli Defense Forces, uh, 35 years. Since I retired 14 years ago, I decided to volunteer to Ava Institute in order to support them because they are highly dedicated people taking care of uh, uh, a small part of our society. In Ahava, we have two therapeutic daycare units. These units take care of 13 children from the Kroyot and Haifa who have the same similar stories like the rest of the children in Ahava, but we have more hope by working with the parents and the, these children can come back home every night. These children are coming to Ahava every day at 7 o'clock, getting all their needs here. My name is um, Debra Igra. I'm 26 years old. I'm working here with the kids and living here with the kids as well. And it's really a wonderful experience what Ahava has done here to provide children a similar experience to, to home. We have here um, animal therapy and art therapy and, and group therapy. Ahava operates an emergency center for children at risk that needs emergency shelter. These children are taken out of the homes in risk situations and where they don't have any other place to go to, they are going to this shelter who take care of 15 children between the ages 6 to 14. This center relocated to his new home here in Ahava campus after three, four years of building a new place for them, all by donation. Some of them we got from Neitzion. The government social services agency in Ahava created an alternative program for a pediatric psychiatric hospital. The success of this program is so good that these children can avoid being institutionalized. A third group of children need psychiatric care 24-7, and there are 30 children in this situation. With our help, these kids don't need to be in a psychiatric ward. With the help of the government and psychiatrists, they can get treatment here, which is also treatment without any stigma. We had a terribly sad story here approximately five years ago, when a youth, 18, who had lived here made tremendous progress, but his biological family did not. He finished his service in the military, but then he said he had no home to return to, so he killed himself. That was the catalyst for our 18-plus program, in which 24 soldiers are currently participating, both active and those who completed service. I'm involved uh, as the president of this institute in some projects, and the last one, which is not least, uh, is the 18 plus project uh, by which we are looking for a way to help 
the young uh, kids who are going to the military or any other national service uh, to let them be here because they simply lack home. This project takes care of youth that finished their stay in Ahava or other boarding school and can't go home. They don't have any support at home, they don't have any family to take care of them. These children have apartments outside Ahava where they can live and stay till the age of 25, get all the support in building the new life. I was truly touched and amazed that children of, of all different ages, what they had to say about themselves, what they had to say about Ahava, and how they truly understood how, how important Ahava was. If Ahava didn't exist, we wouldn't be able to help these children. Ahava just continues to grow. To see the children grow really solidified for me how important the work here is. I work every day with children of all ages and I get to see how, how the work here is done and how important every person is. The government of Israel is helping, but the system we use is very expensive. We need to increase the budget to improve the system. With the help and generosity of others, we can proceed with our work and give these kids what they need. We believe that kids who live in poverty need much more, and with the help of other charitable organizations, we can accomplish that. And it's because of a place like Ahava that we are able to provide children the skills that then they can take with them step by step to grow and to flourish as they continue in their journey.